next talk. Mm -hmm. So, Yohei Yasukawa is, is a Ruby developer, oh, Rails yeah. developer, <laughs> as, as far as I see. And he will be talking mm -hmm. about uh, uh, Dojo, Kids Dojo, or, or yeah, Kora Dojo. training yeah. kids in, in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. Um, I'm glad to be here now. And uh, actually, uh, I'm glad to uh, share the what happens in Japan. And uh, in Japan, we co-founded the Koda Dojo, which is a free volunteer-led uh, open source programming club for young people. And then uh, it's a gradually increase, and uh, it's now a big movement in Japan. Um, so now I'd like to share our knowledge and experiences uh, with you guys in uh, Asia and international people. Well, Koda Dojo is, uh, it's originally um, it started in uh, late 2012, uh, sorry, late 2011 in Iran, and uh, it's going to the uh, San Francisco and the GitHub uh, hosted and supported the Coda Dojo, then it spread all over the world. And in that time, the, in 2012, the, in Japan, we started the Coda Dojo uh, open source community. We building, uh, start building a Coda Dojo community from the uh, very small cafe, which is called the Open Source Cafe. This is the, just a, a first time uh, of Coda, uh, just a pro kind of the, yeah, a few, a first or second times of Coda Dojo. Well, the, so the Koda Dojo is uh, in three words. Uh, is a technology, kids, and uh, in the open source uh, way. Uh, we share our knowledge and uh, uh, the kids, uh, for example, uh, teaching each other. And uh, we actually, yeah, it, it's often misunderstood that the Koda Dojo is a kind of a classroom. Um, for example, the I teach kids uh, how to program, but this is not encouraged. Actually, that we encourage the kids to teach easier each other or learn uh, from each other. Uh, so it's often called peer learning. Also, we encourage the kids and uh, also adults sometimes uh, to show what you created or what you're doing and tell it to the communities in your region. We also ca uh, call it the show and tell. So the kids, uh, show, he is now showing that his uh, games uh, that he is he's creating now, and then he get a feedback and get motivated, and then he continue to cr uh, create a program, make a program. Also, there are, uh, we have met uh, many uh, lesson learned things when we learn the Koda Dojo. So we, uh, as a, the same meaning, uh, same way as the co open source community, we share the uh, lesson learning, the documents or information and knowledge. And also, as we do now, the, we actually encourage everyone to enjoy the dojo to run. Now the Koda Dojo in Japan is uh, really uh, becoming big. And for example, this is uh, just a screenshot of the timeline uh, in Japan, the Koda Dojo. So in one, in a week, uh, every week, the dojo has happened uh, in many areas in Japan. And uh, actually, uh, for example, the, in the number, the last year, we have the 25 dojos in Japan. But now, uh, this 2017, the March, we have the 75 plus dojos. And so almost half of the uh, Japanese prefectures have a, a Koda Dojo from the top, from the uh, bottom. And as I said before, the Koda Dojo is not a Japanese uh, uh, open source community, uh, not only the Japanese one, but also the worldwide one. So outside Japan, uh, there are 70 countries and uh, uh, 1,200 dojos uh, in the world. And actually, the Japan is one of the uh, big communities uh, in the world, in Asia. But uh, uh, there are many bigger communities in USA or the, uh, Europe. But uh, in Asia, I think the Japan is one of the uh, big groups. And the, uh, so that's how we actually uh, start established, uh, sorry, we established the Koda Dojo Japan as a, a official regional body. And then now the, uh, from the foundation, we actually uh, registered the Koda Dojo Japan as one of the uh, regional body. And then there are 
uh, six, uh, sorry, five regional bodies uh, in now, and one of them is the Japan. So the Japan uh, is the, uh, I actually co-founded the Code of the Japan and now running the handling, organizing and encouraging them. Uh, so I'd like to share what we are doing now. Well, the agenda, uh, what we are uh, talking to uh, here this session, is the, actually the, this one, these, these are the lines. The first code dojo, actually I explained so far, so that's, uh, let's uh, skip the, this one. You know the, what the code dojo is, so that uh, actually in let's go into the details. How we grow from the zero to the 75 plus dojos, and also the why we continue. Well, if there is no, no dojos in Japan, when, when there is no dojo in Japan, we actually uh, met the Koda Dojo founder, co-founder, the James. He actually the, uh, often travel around, and he actually, uh, when he uh, traveling in Asia, we called him, and then he uh, actually I talked to, uh, to him the how what you think about the Koda Dojo and the, why you run the Koda Dojo. And then we actually exchange the, uh, the details and uh, share our feelings uh, about the Koda Dojo. And then we actually get inspired by him. And then we actually the, uh, started the, the running a Koda Dojo Tokyo. This is the first a picture of first uh, small dojo in Japan, in, in Tokyo. Uh, this is, uh, we have the James as a guest. And then I actually translated it, what he said into Japanese and then uh, share uh, what the happening in the Koda Dojo community in the world. In the world. But uh, as you might guess, the, this is the very, very small start. And uh, it's uh, really um, difficult to get a big, get become a big from, uh, immediately. So the, actually the first dojo, open, open source cafe, uh, is, uh, Koda Dojo Tokyo is like this. So there is a cafe which is called Open Source Cafe, uh, and there is a dojo in the very small group. And then uh, in those in those days, we have the a session for Scratch, which is a visual programming languages. And uh, so, actually, the when the kids are stuck uh, on programming, then the mentors next to kids. Uh, tell them uh, how to solve or how to start debugging the program. And also there are many tables other than Scratch, the HTML or JavaScript or the Ruby, Python, uh, or things like that. Well, uh, the point is that, okay, I re uh, let me skip the video. Point is that we did is that uh, every weekend we have a session so, for example, every Sunday we have a session. So this is Sunday. So this afternoon uh, there is a Koda Dojo Tokyo uh, in Open Source Cafe, as we saw there in the video. So for now, in total, uh, Koda Dojo Tokyo has uh, uh, has have session the uh, this uh, this time, so many many times every weekend, uh, and uh, because of that, that. We, if you are get interested in the Koda Dojo Tokyo or Koda Dojo itself, you can easily drop by and see what happens in the Koda Dojo Tokyo like this. And uh, you see the these kids uh, the who are getting familiar with programming uh, that's uh, now focusing on, for example, uh, programming in the Minecraft or programming in the Raspberry Pi or uh, things like that. So the because we have a, a, a session every Sunday, so people who are interested in, uh, in Koda Dojo stop by the Koda Dojo in Tokyo or the other Koda Dojo near, near them, near to them, and get inspired. And then, like open source uh, repository, they are forking a dojo to their regional uh, area. So this is kind of the visualized of the how Koda Dojo uh, expanding the video uh, provided by Koda Dojo Foundation. So for example, this is the Koda Dojo Kashiwa uh, happens. Uh, this is folk from the Koda Dojo Tokyo. And there is a, uh, in other countries, uh, Netherlands, for example, the Koda Dojo 
And Tokyo, oh, yeah, this is the kind of the、uh, presentation I did in Tokyo in Japan, speaking about the Kodo Dojo like, like, like today. So,、uh, like this network,、uh, we often share and、uh, exchange the information and、uh, how to be a continuously runnable the,、uh, Kodo Dojo in their, each region. So that's now the big,、uh, in that background, the Kodo Dojo is becoming the,、uh, bigger and bigger、uh, in Japan. So,、uh, and right now, the almost a seven,、uh, 70 plus dojos. So, the point is the forking the dojo, the customizing it like, you, like we do in the open source repository, and the share、uh, like a p r e r e q u e s t in the、uh, open source software. The next try we did uh, is uh, uh, the conference. Uh, which we call it the DojoCon、uh, Japan 2016. And this is a picture of the DojoCon, actually. Why we did it?、Uh, because、uh, becoming the, getting bigger and bigger in the Kodo Dojo, there are、uh, many people who,、uh, who don't know,、uh, who, who you don't know. So that's a、uh, The opportunity for mentors or organizers or, or kids、uh, is really、uh, helpful for them to meet i n g each other and exchanging the information. What do you think? Why, why do you start a dojo? Why, why do you help running a Koda Dojo? So this is the big conference, but we actually, I think this was a very successful one、uh, to make the Koda Dojo bigger in Japan. So, for example,、uh, um, as I said before, the, the one of the sessions, for example, I actually、uh, asked the reasons why you start. And、uh, these two i s actually the, not uh, uh, the adult.、Uh, he, they are still the st、uh, students. He, is now high he started the Koda Dojo when he was a high school student. And he is now the、uh, graduate student, but he started the Koda Dojo when he was a university student. So, why you,、uh, we, so, we ask the question and share、uh, why they started the Kodo Dojo in their region. That's a kind of a helpful for the attendees、uh, to get inspired and to get motivation、uh, for them to start or ha to help. Also, I think the network itself is really uh, important, uh, even in us and also even for kids. So, the DojoCon、uh, is a really good、uh, opportunity for even kids to network、uh, over there. So, for example, we, there is a show and tell in the, each Koda Dojo, but、uh, they are less o p p o r t u n i t y to share what they created、uh, with other dojo. So, that's,、uh, this kind of conference or meetup uh, can uh, help for them to network、uh, or to share or to,、uh, to share their passions.、Um, For the programming. So, this is a kind of the,、uh, the why we DojoCon, and I think that、uh, was successful uh, to uh, make a bigger community in Japan. The last slide、uh, actually to share here、uh, in this presentation is that、uh, we actually wrote a book to、uh, expand more, that to、uh, let them know about the Koda Dojo, how Koda Dojo works by books. By learning the programming languages for kids. So, the book itself is the technically、um, not so surprising. It's uh, the uh, typical the scratch book for learning visual programming languages for kids. But the point is different from the、uh, usual books is that、uh, this is the composed by the story based learning. So,、uh, this scratch book、um, tells you the how to. Make a programming by using Scratch, visual programming languages, by attending the each dojo、uh, virtually in the book. So, for example,、uh, the, this, these are the avatars,、uh, but the, this one is the、uh, organizer of dojo. So, the, these kids、uh, uh, going to dojo to dojo to run Scratch programming、uh, from the Organizer or mentors in the Koda Dojo. So that's, that, this means the virtually. And then the,、so、the first chapter, the second chapter, the, the kids going to dojo to dojo、uh, to learn more t 
to run shooting game, to run the, uh, the, a complex game, or things like that. Uh, for example, music game in this uh, chapter. And then the, finally, we revealed the Coda Dojo itself is not virtually, uh, virtual. Uh, there is a Coda Dojo. The organizers or mentors in this book, uh, appear in this book, is actual person uh, in there. So, and uh, the last of the book, uh, the, uh, we tell that there are many Coda Dojo uh, that we cannot introduce uh, in the book, and then we listed them. That is the kind of, this kind of the uh, tries about the, doing the conference on the publishing of the books, uh, and uh, inspire, inspiring them uh, by uh, yeah, uh, using the same method as the open source community uh, is the way to uh, get bigger in Japan, from 25 to uh, 75 plus dojos in Japan. Well, the last thing I'd like to share uh, is that, uh, that I think the one of the big important thing is why it works, why we continue to run. In the software, the computers uh, uh, continuously runs, but because this is the physical community, we need to prepare for the venue or having a session and, uh, 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 for example, the announcing the dojo. It, yeah, it's, uh, it, to be honest, it's cost, but uh, they do and they continue. The reasons is uh, kind of the, uh, for me, very uh, curious about it. And uh, in my point of view, there is no one simple answer, the one simple reason but there are many, many various reasons to attend, to mentor, to help mentoring, and to start a dojo. So let, uh, let me share uh, some of the examples why they started. The, for example, the, say, dojo con members, the organizers and uh, helpers, uh, is also the uh, kind of the contributors to the Koda Dojo. For example, she is one of the contributors to Koda Dojo, she is uh, uh, really good at the designing and the photograph uh, and the photographer. So he, uh, she is now uh, taking a photo, or she is helping the web design in the DojoCon Japan uh, website. So uh, she would like to help, uh, kind of the help the Koda Dojo community is uh, runnable for her passion, and the another. Uh, other uh, reasons I found is that uh, IoT, the kind of embedded system, that this is an area of the, uh, the Arduino or Raspberry Pi. That these two guys are the professional engineers in the hardware. And uh, for example, he is uh, actually that he like to his son to enjoy programming with kids in the regional uh, area. So that's what he contributed to the Coda Dojo. Also, there are many uh, attendees and collaborators in the over there. Uh, maybe it's a little bit small, and uh, and also, uh, by the way, this is me uh, in the MC. I, I'm I'm asking the organizers to why you study. Actually, yeah, me. I also have a, a reason uh, to start a Koda Dojo and continue to help the Koda Dojo. And uh, for for me, it. It, is, it was, when I was a kid, it was really tough to run programming and what to do when I was stuck, when I was a kid, because there, because there are no such a communities uh, when I was a kid. And uh, even these days, the kids have the same feeling uh, but I had uh, when I was a kid. For example, uh, this kid, 10 year old, uh, but he developed the, and published his web services by using Ruby on Rails. And he said in his presentation uh, that uh, uh, by, by answering the question to how to become uh, like you. And then he answered this. Uh, the reason why, I, uh, why uh, he uh, improved their skills is that uh, uh, he did the, these ways uh, to run more. That is the when you find something interesting, the Google it by web, uh, the Google the keyword by web, or search it by books, and then the ask it by Coda Dojo communities. So that's uh, these uh, steps uh, becoming a loop 
And then uh, asking by Koda Dojo, uh, he gets a, a new thing, new something that is interesting to him. And then uh, Google it again and uh, uh, search it by books. And then uh, asking uh, or the sharing the uh, lesson learned things with the Koda Dojo again. This is, is kind of the running spiral. Uh, it's helpful for him to learn more and, uh, uh, about the programming and the computer science. Oh, yeah. And the, another example to me is that, uh, and th that is uh, uh, surprising to me, is the, the re reason because there are no dojos. He is, uh, uh, he actually posted the Koda Dojo group uh, the last week. The, he said, uh, what he said is uh, he'd like to, uh, he is still a junior high school student, 30 year old, but he would like to attend the Koda Dojo, but there are no Koda Dojo around the, uh, what, uh, where they live. So that's why uh, he uh, would like to start a dojo and, uh, because no dojos around their home. And so he actually calls for the uh, collaborators or, uh, to run a dojo with him. And then, uh, as you see, the, there are uh, almost 20 shares uh, to, to, for his post. And then we actually uh, finally found the collaborators uh, to start a dojo uh, for him and uh, the four kids around him, around the area he's living. Well, uh, there are many, many various reasons to attend, help, and organize. So actually, I uh, finally the, uh, would like to sh let me share the videos uh, to interviewing the people in, uh, in Koda Dojo community. Why do you come to Koda Dojo? Why do you help running the Koda Dojo? And uh, with the translation into English. Well, I... He said he wants to improve his coding skills. He's attending and makes stuff again. His girl, uh, when she raises hands, you know, you can get help from mentors. And as I said before, stack of coding. There are many reasons to attend, and this is the kind of uh, the videos of the shooting the Koda Dojo in Kashiwa, the prefecture in uh, Chiba. Uh, in the town. He's the organizer. Asking why you start. He's a mentor of the Koda Dojo Kashiwa. Here, grass, he can find a new opportunity by touching, by sharing the information, technology with kids. So, really, really various reasons I found. She was an attendee, but it, she now becomes a mentor in the Koda Dojo, kind of graduating from attendee to the mentor to help the next generation. He is now stuck uh, in reading the English sentences, but the mentor is tough to read and understand. He just like to see the smiling face of kids. So that's he started the Koda Dojo in Moria, in Japan. So that he keep do doing the Koda Dojo, running. He is not a programmer, not good at coding. But he likes to shoot videos like this. So he's a designer kind of. He would like to have the Koda Dojo by using his design skill. He likes the, taking a photo. So taking a photo of a picture or movies of the Koda Dojo activities. Then show what happens. Show why they started, why they continue to help. 
評価してもらえるやっぱり常に新しい刺激があるから僕はここに来ています将来有名なプログラマーになって So many programmers in the open source community So he would like to be a great programmer He would like to dig, dig, dig into more to the, about the programming すごいなんかわかりやすくて So, this is kind of important thing, I think. So, enjoy the Koda Dojo and then the pass the passion to the next generation. Then it works the again and again. That's the kind of one of the concepts and the, the reasons、uh, in the background why Koda Dojo is running and、uh, continuing in Japan. So, the, in summary, the, actually, I actually、uh, strongly encourage them、uh, to enjoy to help, enjoy to do,、uh, instead of feeling the obligation. So, that's the I'd like to share uh, with, uh, with you in this session.、Uh, I think、uh, there is no time left, so just to quickly wrap up. The Okoda Dojo is a tech kids open source community for free, for uh, open, uh, open source. And then strongly encouraging and teaching each other, not like a classroom from adults to kids in one way, but uh, uh, communicating with each other. And then the last thing, but not least, is everyone、uh, enjoys the dojo running. If you have a question, just ask me or Google the Koda Dojo. Then there are many, many、uh, i n f o r m a t i o n in English, in Japanese as well. So, I hope、uh, this the experiences and knowledge is、uh, helpful for building the open source community with kids in your、uh, countries, in your regions. Thank you very much. So, there will be, as I think, that there will be other people.、Uh, Running courses that the parent h a d to pay?、Uh, Are you competing with them? Actually, we are、uh, we not allowed、uh, to charge kids to attend the Koda Dojo. This is uh, uh, one, uh, one of the rules to be a Koda Dojo. So, yeah, but will they complain or say that、oh, you're taking our business or something like that?、Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We actually the, yeah,、uh, open to the. So, Koda Dojo has a, a very, very few rules、uh, for, for example, charging a kid. But、uh, if you can use your、uh, lesson learned things to, for example, writing a book or the, doing、oh. the business by not using the Koda Dojo.、Oh, so,、okay. it's also fine. It's kind of、uh, inclusiveness is one of the important、mm. things、uh, in Koda Dojo. Good. Thank you. Okay.